Hey, oh. New series today. Uh, I'm gonna call this edutainment, and the purpose of this series is where uh, I'll tell you something I, I think I can teach you about, mainly by probably relating something from my own experience, right? Let's try. So, uh, first, why should you trust me? Well, let's let's start with that. I'm gonna tell you how I got my first jobs. Now, to put this in context. Again, why would you care about my crappy first jobs? Uh, because I've done pretty well. Uh, I'm a multi-millionaire. <laughs> Don't need a YouTube show. Uh, uh, this is like my vanity project, right? So, how did I? What were the first jobs? I'm not. It's not going to be about about my very first job. Just the first jobs that I found. Both, uh, uh, you know, when I was, uh, when I needed a job for spending money and also my first jobs out of school, right? When I really was trying to, you know, get into the workforce for good, right? So first two examples, real easy. Uh, they were the same, uh, they were in the same summer. I actually forget, I think it might, most likely it's the summer right before I went to college. Uh, could also be the summer right between freshman and sophomore year in college, okay? I had two jobs. The very, very first job that I got was at a fast food restaurant uh, close to where my parents live in Queens, uh, New York City. And uh, I worked pretty much, uh, you know, making french fries, cleaning out the trash, you know, sweeping. Pretty sure when I went to interview for the job, the guy thought I was overqualified for some reason. And I said, hey, I just need a job. Uh, I'll work hard for you. Let me have it. And it's a fast food job, so the guy was totally okay with it when I said it like that, right? I worked at 1 a.m. in the morning. I had to take a bus home. Uh, it wasn't that close where my parents lived. And the only thing that I really remembered was my pa- uh, my mom wouldn't let me put my shoes in the house because it was so soaked in grease from making fries and stepping in the grease. Uh, There was so much grease that the next morning when I came back out, or the very first morning when I came home from that work and went to sleep, and then I woke up, went back outside, I saw there were just a ton of ants kind of really just working around my shoe, because they probably thought my shoe was like a treasure trove of, of french fries or something. Uh, So at that point, I was like, oh boy, this job is rather dirty, so I should look for another one. Uh, And I did actually was able to find a a different job to to replace that with at a a local, uh, let's call it a uh, very popular East Coast uh, donut chain. Don't know if you can guess, uh, if you live in New York, which one that is. Uh, And that turned out to be a much easier job. Okay, like uh, I had uh, an assistant manager that I worked with who also wanted no customers to come because then we, we could make less donuts and spend more time in the back goofing off. Uh, nothing super special about that second summer job, but I want to mention something about the first one, okay? Uh, the, the fast food place, which uh, so far just sounds like to the audience that it was dirty. Uh, In fact, my mom really didn't like it, not just because she thought it was greasy and dirty, but because she didn't want me to work there until the middle of the night, or, you know, 1 a.m. seemed like very late for her. Uh, What happened to that particular uh, store was that the next year, uh, they actually got robbed during closing time, so around 1 a.m., and the entire store Every employee in there was marched down into the basement and shot point-blank range uh, in the dome. Somehow, the robbers didn't manage to kill everyone there, even though he or she shot up every employee in the head. (laughs) One person, one employee, managed to crawl up from the basement outside with a gunshot wound in his head and get someone to help and get the police there. Yeah, so I guess my mom was right. It wasn't that safe of a job, right? That was my two summer jobs. Nothing special, right? I, I hope 
all of you had some similar experiences in your past. Hopefully not with the murder part. I mean, I wasn't there for the murder part either, obviously. But, man, when I heard that, I was like, oh, wow. Could have been me if it was one summer, you know, later. Now, uh, when I got out of school, uh, I got out of the school right during, right after the dot-com bust. Okay, so here I was with a... Uh, BS uh, in, in, in the STEM field, couldn't get a tech job in New York City, right? One of the biggest markets in the world for tech jobs. I mean, it's, it was never the biggest market, but it's certainly in the top five, right? So, uh, what was my first real job? Uh, I delivered furniture. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, that was my first job out of college. Six or eight months after I graduated, I just wanted a job so that I could move out of my parents' home. I took a job that had nothing to do with my degree. Yeah, uh, this is not what I expected, let's to say the least, okay? I even thought I could, you know, get by with some connections. That didn't pan out. So six months after living at home, I was just like, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get a job just so I can move out of my house. My, well, my parents' house. And I did. I immediately did. For those uh, those of you who are not aware, for Asian immigrants, you know, you're, my mom was very welcoming for me to stay at home until I got married. And I was like, yeah, no, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Because I was like... You understand it's oxymoronic to say, hey, you know, stay at home until you get married. I'm like, if I stay home, how will I ever get married? Right? Like, how am I supposed to bring a girl home? That's ridiculous. So I left uh, when I got a blue collar job uh, delivering furniture. Yeah, uh, for, uh, 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 yeah, delivering furniture, really. Uh, can you see that about me? When you look at me, do you, do you see, hey, that guy, you know what I think he's great at? Delivering furniture. <laughs> I haven't changed that much since uh, in, in my in my uh, tw uh, early twenties. Okay, I wasn't jacked back then either. Either so, there you go. Terrible fit. Okay, wasn't at that job for very long. Think I was there just long enough so that I can qualify for uh, unemployment. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, I would like to call this. I'm already on job number four that I'm, t I'm telling you guys about. But this I call my first white-collar job, okay? I'm quite proud of this one. For those of you who are like, hey, it's hard to find a job. Oh, I know, okay? I had a blue-collar job. Obviously, that's not what I was going to do with the rest of my life, right? So I'm, you know, trying really hard after I left that job because I was like, now I have, a, you know, more than six months of experience. Now I can find... A better job, a white-collar job, a regular job that my parents would be proud of, right? Where I'm in an office, and I got, you know, one of these interviews. I'm pretty sure I took a couple of swigs of vodka right in front, uh, right beforehand, because I was like uh, nervous, right? Like when, when you're when you're young and you're going on your first interviews, it's like it's not butterflies. It's more like a royal rumble in your in your stomach before you go in, right? Because that's how it was for me. So I probably had a shot of vodka before, you know, I was prepared because of how many interviews that I've messed up at. And to be honest, I messed up at that interview too, okay? Um, I went in there, the interviewer, who was a lady, had, had bright red pants on, and I think at the end I was like, nice pants. I mentioned that because I was like, those are cool pants, right? Like, you know, you don't really usually see ladies... You know, that's fashionable, uh, especially not at an, at an interview. Guess what? I was not hired. Okay, <laughs> I think they interviewed two dudes that day, and the other guy got hired. So how did I end up with this job? I didn't get hired. I didn't hear back from the job for like a week. So I was like, ah, that's all right. I went to visit my girlfriend uh, in my old college town like later that week. And then I get the call. Apparently... Uh, the guy who they hired kind of flaked out or something, and they were like, well, you know, he, 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 you were okay, so why don't you come in? 
at that point, I was like, yo, I'm now in a different city. I was in my college town. I was like, you know, all right, just get, you know, how about I start like two weeks later? Because I was having a good time. I, I didn't want to, you know, if the, if the job didn't initially want me, I'm not going to go crawling, you know, just, oh, jump whenever you say jump. That's ridiculous, right? But I did get the job, and I remember when I started, my, my new boss, who was the lady with the red pants, she was like, just by the way, you should never comment on the, an interviewer's, like, you know, how they're dressed. I mean, I, I, you know, I heard her, but still, I was like, yo, if you don't want people to talk about what clothes you're wearing, I don't think you would be wearing red pants, like bright red pants, just to be clear. And, you know, that lady and I, we're, we're really good friends now. Like, you know, she's a cool boss ever since we've been, you know, she was my boss and I was an employee and she left the job. This was like more than 15 years ago. We're still friends, so... I'm sure she'd be okay with me saying that. But she told me, like, hey, don't comment on the pants. And I'm like, well, I still ended up with a job, didn't I? Okay, that was my first office job. All the way up until this point, okay? This is like a, a whole year removed from my college graduation. First white-collar office job. I made $30,000. Wow. Yeah, in New York City. Not exactly mind-blowing money, right? But if you listen to my tale for this long, what I want you to remember is in the next three or four years, I tripled that. And then in another decade, I times 10 that amount, okay? More than times 10 to the point where I could save a million dollars in like less than three, three years, okay? Think about that. It's not about how you start, but you got to start somewhere, right? For those of you who are younger, start. Right? Don't worry if the beginning of your tale is like, oh man, why did I take this job? It's it's not what I want to do. Do you know how many times that I thought uh, thought that same thought in the four different places of employment that I just described to you? Right? After the first job, I was like, I'm just glad I'm still alive. <laughs> and then by the time I got to my first white collar job, my God, what a mess! Right? I got through all those jobs, and it came out of it, in the end, fantastically. Just having a regular job. And now I can afford to do absolutely nothing. If I can do it, so can you. Alright? Later.